what's up welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you for stopping by to check this video up and welcome back to this channel if you are new to on this page please consider like and subscribe down below so we and if you already subscribed so welcome back to this channel so this is your friend will is agent mimos valme with success real estate i work on this out your area if you have any question regarding your real estate need if you want to sell if you want to buy any home on the town my information will be in the description below feel free to send me comments feel free to send me chat i will be more happy to answer any of your questions so in today's video as you know every month so i make an update on the video on the illicit market how things going in the city of Brockton. there's too many cities so i choose to cover Brockton because i live in Brockton. but if you have any area that you want to get any update feel free to send me comments i will be glad to find information on that particular area for you so on today's video so i will give you a market update for the month of january how many home that's been sold how many home that's active that way active and have that sold pending and available for you so you can have an idea for everybody that's waiting and everybody that's you know what let's see where this really sit industry is going so for the month of january 2022 this is the first months so there's a lot of people that act dream so if your dream is to become a homeowner it's not too late so jump on the bus and then i will be happy to help you so for the months of january 2022 there is 28 a single family home that were that were active from the month of january there was 28 single family home that were active so people could have just go and see them if you were interested if you were lack on doing your home search those property they were available to see so there were only 28 of them for the whole city of Brockton we a uh, remind you how many people that's living in the Brockton there's only 28 property that was active for the month of 20 for the month of January 2020 so the next step when you buy your home don't worry don't forget there is active contingency pending and sold so the next this the next step after the active so let's say for for example i have a home i put it to list i want somebody to buy it so they come in and they check the home out they like the view they like what they see so they put an offer on it so now i me and him so we sign the offer we are we are, have a buying contract so the next step is the contingency process where that client have seven days to review the home to you know have a second mind second guess second thought if they want to continue if they want to change their mind it's the same way when you're going to get married with somebody so they give you a wing so both of us we get engaged so until the wedding we can we can call out the engagement if your god doesn't tell you this is the right person for you either the woman or the man so you have a second mind you can change your mind anytime is the same as the home so when you buy a home you have six seven days to either change your mind or to continue with the process so after the seven days so that who you sign all the document the attorney involved so both party has an attorney so they review all the paperwork they check everything they are legit whoever that's selling the home so they are capable of selling it so the next process is pending or under contract sometimes you might pass by a sign you said this i said pending or the sign my set on the contract it's the same thing some people choose to say pending some people choose to say they in the contract but they both is the same thing so for the contingency we have 15 for the pending we have 49 single family that was pending in the city of Brockton for the month of january 2022 so we, we had 49 single family that was pending the next step you know that pending under contract is where you provide all your document they do verification of work so you make sure that you have your money and your bank account they check everything make sure they are legit and then you get you get to the closing table and then you sign all the documents so basically those, that home is being sold 
for the month of January, we have 57 single family that sold. So we have 57 new owners that get the key to the home, to the single family home in the city of Wacton. So congratulations to them. So the next step, we have condominium. Let's say somebody, they cannot afford a single family home. They so probably be single. They don't want to clean snow. They don't want to do any work outside. They buy themselves a condominium. So for the month of January, so we have 10 condominium that we active. Those 10 condominium, you could have go see them and then preview them, take a look at them, you know, lock in them and put an offer on it. So once the offer get accepted, so you move to the second step, which is the contingency where you have seven days to change your mind or to continue after the seven days. The next step we have the pending or the under contract where you now most serious you provide all your document the attorney is involved the lender is involved the bank is involved to get you to your closing table when you get to your closing table so we had three condominium that was contingency and then we had seven condominium that's under contract that was under contract for the month of january 2022 and when you get to the closing table we have 11 that actually closed so we have 11 that actually closed so the next step is the multi-family home some people good at buying single family home they just want the house to themselves to their kid they don't want to share driveway they don't want to share anything they don't want no stranger living at the home so they decide to buy themselves a single family home and some people like they're single they're young they just want to start the investment so they buy themselves a condominium so there's people you know that say you know what i can manage can manage a tenant so let me buy a multi-family home because multi-family home can be two family like just you and one tenant or three family just you and two tenant you so you plus two tenant that's four for so three unit so include four unit two so basically multi-family home for the month of january so we had 11 multi-family home all together that was active for the month of a january 2022 so as you know the next step is contingency so we had only three of them that make it to the contingency here we are probably those seven of them so they change their mind they say you know what so based on what i thought that's not what i want to buy let me change my mind let me buy myself a condominium or let me buy myself a single family home so i thought i could have managed a tenant but i now i find out that i can't manage a tenant or i find something on the property it's gonna cost me too much money to fix so i'm not gonna continue so we had only three only three single family that's make it to the second step which is the contingency step where the attorney is involved so both of the parties signed all the documents so now they go to the under contract so they go to under contract so for the under contract for the month of january so we probably had people that from the preview months that was still under contract so all that together we have 19 multi-family home for the month of january that was under that, that was under contract for the month so usually sometimes people might get to the month so you know they don't give the document on time open a document they cannot verify the work so but they probably work they wasn't working all those stuff so we have 19 multi-family home that was pending and under contract for the month of january 2022 so on that 19 of the pending property that was in the contract, so we had 15 new multifamily owners that's make it to the closing table. We have 15 of them, so basically those 15 new owners, so basically now they will be able to manage themselves and then manage tenants for sometimes it's one sometimes it's two it depends on how many people they want to rent their home so we have 15 that actually make it to the closing table so congratulations to them so for the month of you know january so between single family home between single family home plus condominium plus multi-family home single family home condominium plus multi-family home so all three together for the month of january the first month of the year we have 83 new homeowners that's 
actually have the key to their new home and worked on so congratulations to them this is a great job so this is a great job i celebrate those people they make it to the closing table we have 83 of them so if you are watching this video if you're not one of them so send me a comment below so i will be happy to help you to achieve your dream because my goal is for you that watching this video or for your family anyone in your family that had that has desire to own a home that have it have the opportunity the chance to become a homeowner so my goal is to help so this is was the update for the month of january 2022 so as today is the last day so the last day two o'clock in the morning so basically so we're going for this for the second month so i will be update you for the february for the month of february but this was the month of january as a recap so we cap so we have 28 single family home that was active we had 10 single family 10 multi 10 condominium that was active for the month of january we have 11 multi-family so 28 single family 10 condominium 11 multi-family that was active for the month of january 2022 so we had the second step is contingency we have 15 single family home that was contingency three condominium and three multi multi-family home so for the pending and on, on the contract so we had 49 single family home plus seven condominium and plus 19 multi-family home that was act that was pending for the month of january so congratulations to all those new homeowners that actually make it to the closing table we had 57 single family home that sold a new homeowner and worked on so those people will be able to shovel the snow on their own 57 single family home 11 condominium those people will be sitting in their home and then looking at the condominium association send a truck to come clean their house the the condominium area so they don't need to go out there so and we had 15 mold 15 multi-family homeowner that actually will clean the house for themselves also for their tenants so all together we have 83 new homeowner that's get the care and worked on so like i said if you your dream your desire is to become a homeowner so don't get discouraged keep doing what you're doing if you need any information regarding the massachusetts area i will be happy to help you so you can send me a comment my information will be in the description below and i will be happy to help you don't forget to like and subscribe this video i will see you in the next video